Hey, we are at looking at Monday, the 16th, my friends, the 16th, August, that is. There we go. Reading from the Gospel of Matthew 19, beginning of verse 16. A young man approached Jesus and said, Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He asked him, Why do you call me good? There's only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked, Which ones? You shall not kill, not commit adultery, shall not steal, not bear false witness. On your father and mother, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Wow. Young man said to him, All these I have observed, but do, do I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, I'll sell what you have and give it to the poor, and you have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. When the young man heard these statements, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. The gospel of the Lord. Wow. Yeah, that's a, that was a bummer. Hmm? Party pooper. Jesus ruined it. The guy was doing well. What must I do to gain eternal life? That's the big question, isn't it? What must I do? What's the secret? What's the secret formula, secret sauce? And what strike me about this is Jesus didn't say, well, those who believe in me get to heaven. He didn't say that, did he? No. He said, keep the commandments. I mean, I'm sorry. There are things that we have to do. Sometimes people say, just believe, make, you know, recite this phrase or sentence, and you're in. That's all it takes. And that's not what Jesus says here. You've got to keep the commandments. He said, which ones? All right. He probably knows what they are, but he wants to hear it. And Jesus lists the main ones. The man with prowl says, guess what? <laughs> I, I did it. What do I, what do I lack? Oh, boy. What do I still lack? He shouldn't have gone there. Should not have gone there. Why would you do that for? You were doing well. Keep the commandments. Leave it at that. Oh, you want to know? Go sell what you have and give to the poor and then come follow me. And the discussion was over. He couldn't do it. He had, he had a lot. But I said, me and my big mouth, why did I ask that question? I could have just kept quiet. All was good. But he wanted to look good before the Lord. Hmm? So what does that mean for us? One, first, most of the basics, keep the commandments. And really, what's our relationship with our finances? You've got to be generous, got to be generous, got to be generous. I wouldn't say sell everything you have. That's a little bit much. But to stretch yourself, to feel the pain, to feel a twinge, to feel, ooh, that hurts a little, to be generous. But with our finances, because that would hold your heart. That would, that's, that's what controls us. And that's what gives us this sense of security. And he says, no, your security should be in me. So what must I do? What must you do? We keep the commandments as best as we can with God's grace and to live a life of generosity. And God will do the rest. God bless you.